This is a manual muscle test for scapulothoracic adduction and depression. This is testing lower trap. This is our test position, this uh, give me a Y position. So as she uh, flexes or uh, moves her shoulder through the scapular plane, we're getting adduction and depression of the scapula. So you can go ahead through that range. Perfect. So my direction of force is going to be, again, I have the scapula, the inferior angle of the scapula in my first web space. My direction of force is gonna be in this oblique direction or the direction of abduction and elevation, opposite muscle action of the lower trap. So we'll position the scapula in its mid range and hold it right there. Uh, before I apply resistance, just to mention the patient's holding onto the table for trunk stability. And I'm also, I'm uh, using the arm to uh, give myself some better leverage to try to pull the scapula into that abducted and elevated position. So hold it right there, hold, hold, hold. So again, my direction of force with my right hand is that way. Most of the force is at the medial border of the scapula. I'm also monitoring for the scapula to break. And I'm just pulling through the long axis of the humerus to again, try to give myself better leverage to break the scapula in that direction.